The same thing that you see happening with all the immigrants. They come and they work, and they send money back home, because that is how we are helping and assisting our families, our households. But the reality is that because of cost of living in St. Martin, higher than elsewhere in the kingdom, how many people can survive? How many people can make it? So what you see happening here is actually that because of the social security level, I call it the social protection floor, mm. as the ILO defines it, it is not the same as in the Netherlands. It is not, as you can see on the French side, the same as in the French Republic. And so what is happening here, this is what we call discrimination in human rights. And because it is a violation of an adequate standard of living, poverty cannot be considered a normal way of life, mm. a standard way of life, an acceptable way of life. We say poverty is man-made. Man can change it. There is a golden rule in the Bible that says you have to love your neighbor as yourself. The Netherlands, in the Constitution, they also have don't do unto others what you don't want others to do to you. So as part of the kingdom of the Netherlands, we are citizens of the kingdom of the Netherlands. Why they allow the people in the Caribbean part of the kingdom not to be treated as equal as them. And that is not only to blame the Dutch, because this is what we have been advocating for a while, it is also to blame our own politicians. But when you talk about blaming our own politicians, in the beginning we said, you know something? They were not knowledgeable about human rights. So you can't blame someone that doesn't know what is right, what to do right. So we have been informing and advocating to respect our human rights and to provide us with equal rights. And actually, we have been advocating for them to represent us well. And you know, Arnold, they represented themselves well. 10, 10, 10 came, and they already had their pensions and their salary equal as the ones from the politicians in the Netherlands. Now the Netherlands politicians want them to cut in their salary. And, and we, let, let us explain this very clear for everybody to understand. We are not in agreement with the Dutch politicians based on human rights, because equal job should provide for equal, an equal pay. So as our politicians, as parliamentarians, as ministers, do an equal job, it doesn't matter for how many people, but it is an eight-hour job or more, you have to get equal pay. And so where the Dutch are right now demanding to violate an international labor law, the unions have to back it up. The seniors, for sure, have said already, this should not change. The Dutch politicians are human rights violators. And as long as they demand things to violate the law, our politicians have to have a backbone. They have to defend human rights, labor rights. And guess what, Earl? If they can do it for themselves, then they can do it for the seniors, too. Then they can do it for the workers, too. Then they can do it for everybody in our part of the kingdom that is not being treated right.